to my video tutorial on Auto Macro Recorder, a tool we're going to use to buy tags on Tag Village. It's uh, uh, basically a repetitive tag buying tool. Um, it's a legal tool. Um, you're um, allowed to use it on Tag Village. There are no rules against using it. It's totally legal to use it there, so there's no problems there. don't know where to get it, I'll have a link in my info box so you can grab it from there and uh, download it and install it. Um, so grab it from CNET, that's where my link will be, and um, you should be able to install it for free. Right, um, now in front of you, you can see I've got um, basically an, an Excel sheet and a browser window. Um, they're both minimized in half so you can see both. Um, as far as recording macros goes for this um, tag buying process, it's probably not the best way to do it purely because the macro recording is totally reliant on where the mouse is um, and the clicks made by the mouse and if any of these windows move or get stretched or um, the buttons aren't where they were when you replay the macro um, from when you recorded it, the macro recording isn't going to work, so the buying process isn't going to work. So in most instances, having full screens and tabbing between your Excel spreadsheet and your browser window on Tag Village would be preferable. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you it this way. Um, also, I'm looking at doing it uh, on a dedicated system, so I would be running it this way anyway. So um, we'll be going through the steps pretty much from now. Um, the buying steps I'm going to go through quite quickly because do them quickly then when you replay the buying steps the buying steps will be quick as well and that's what we want we don't want a um, hundred tags to take two hours to buy we want them to be to be purchased uh, purchased as fast as possible so once we record start recording the macro we need to do the steps as fast as we can Also, there's a little trick in here um, to help you so you don't buy any tags over 10 cents. Um, you know, you wouldn't like to buy, say, a $50 tag that you had no intention of buying um, because the macro would just buy it. Um, luckily, there's this little trick that uh, people have picked up on um, that you can use and it will avoid buying any tags over 10 cents. Um, to do that, you need to start off um, recording the macro with a tag that's at 10 cents, so it hasn't been bought before. Because um, if you use, if you record the macro with a tag, a pre-used tag, basically the buy it now button isn't in the place it needs to be, so it has to be with a 10 cent tag if you want to only buy 10 cent tags. If you want to buy tags 13 cents and higher, you would make a macro recording with a 13 cent tag, so the button would be in the position it would normally be. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, right, now basically I've got a um, macro running. It's running in the background, so basically I can get it going. Um, most instances you can just uh, select F10 and F10 will bring up this pop-up box here and uh, if you see up the top here basically this full rec.txt um, the full rec is basically what the macro recording um, that we're going to make is going to be called so when we replay it that's that's the name we want to look for for the file to replay like I said, 
as soon as I click record, we want to go through these buying steps as fast as possible. So the replaying of the buying steps are as fast as possible. Right, so I'm about to click record. I will then quickly go through these steps. Then I will stop the recording. Um, and then we will go through a list of four other tags I've selected. Two are 10 cents and two are 13 cents. We will set the macro to replay four times to buy these four tags. And then hopefully we will be able to see at least two of these tags not being bought because of the little uh, loophole with the buy button. Um, hopefully that all eventuates. Um, uh, I've given this a try a couple of times and it's mucked up on me a couple of times but we'll, we'll give it another go. Um, right, so we're about to click record. I'll explain the steps but I'll be explaining them quickly so if you don't understand please rewind the video and watch it again. So here we go. First we're going to click record and yes I want to overwrite that file. So we go over to our spreadsheet, we select here and we right click and we select copy. Then we go over to our browser, we make sure we click get tags here to get us to the right browser window from the start. Then right click and paste it into the search box and then we click get it and as you see there it's a 10 cent tag now the loophole is to make sure you only click on the buy it now at the very bottom of the button now we click confirm the transaction was completed we go over to XL we right click and we delete that box and now we stop the macro and basically that's the steps done um, it's as simple as that um, I know it looks a bit too simple but it is as simple as that now what we need to do now is basically replay the macro so we want to replay those steps but we don't want to replay them with the same tags so we're going to give um, basically the Excel um, database of tags that we, we're we going to buy in succession we're going to fill it but I want to do it quickly today so I'm only going to show four so I've already got them set up so as long as none of these windows have moved and everything's set up, we've recorded the macro, it should all work and go down here buying these. Two of these tags are at 13 cents so hopefully the loophole works and it doesn't buy those tags. But we will see um, and we'll give it a go. So first off to replay the macro, like I said, we, um, we make sure we have our Excel sheet up with our tags in. Now we've got four tags so we want to replay it four times. So we go down to our bottom bar in the, and we go over our uh, auto recorder icon, right click and then we select option and as you see here we have a box that opens up and basically all we really need to do is change this figure here. Um, basically I've already got it set at four so it's gonna replay the steps four times. We have four tags we want to buy so four times is what we want it to do. So we will let it do the four um, steps, uh, the four buys as, um, as we need those four tags to be bought. So we click and then what we need to do is we need to click the replay button which is F9 so I'll click F9 and we'll watch the buying process for these four 
so we choose that and click open and as you see there um, that's the macro program running itself so I'm not moving that mouse at all that's that's the program um, doing it like I said we have to make sure we get on the right screen so that's why you have to make sure you click the get tags here um, first to make sure you get to that right screen on your browser we go get it and as you see it's insert tag buttons in the right place so like I said make sure you click the button at the bottom of it and we get the uh, confirm box so we confirm now the macro will go up and it will delete that line out of the list now that will be the end of the macro and now the macro will start the recording over again so that was our first initial recording now it's going to replay it again and it will keep doing this through the steps depending on how many or how uh, what number we put into that box and how many you know depending on how many tags we have in our list and as you can see here we could go to sleep and have a thousand tags here and it would buy them all overnight for us tag. I wonder if I can buy it. I can't because if you notice the button for a 13 cent tag was in a different place.
like I said, um, full screens for your browser and your Excel sheet would be preferable because if, like I said, the buttons are in different places because someone's dragged your screen across, you know, a fraction or something like that, then the macro won't work on the replays. Um, hopefully that's helped you. Um, hopefully um, you can replay this and, um, yeah, work it all out. So, uh, thank you for watching my video and happy tag trading.